Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. And yeah, welcome to all of my new members. Deborah Spangler, welcome. Okay. All right, let's start into this reading. Let's see what the messages are starting out for you. You've got boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. You have the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase and you have the phoenix new phase rekindle wow okay so somebody's two people gonna meet up from from afar looks like taking a boat to see each other or going on a cruise you might be meeting someone on a cruise uh let's take a look some type of relationship evolving the phoenix new phase rekindling growth a changed mind um all right let's take a look here somebody could also be moving on moving on from a relationship okay let's see oh so there's a lot of movement planes trains and automobiles we have cancer pisces energy oh the death card oh look at all this major arcana and the fool wow okay scorpio and aquarius wow so there's an energy of something ending and something new beginning here virgo so take that as you want to take it but there's definitely a change um i feel like it's kind of like a dream somebody's been wishing or hoping for or dreaming about doing some or making some kind of a change let's take a look let's get some clarifying cards wow knight of wands yep definitely change a new chapter there's definitely an energy too that somebody doesn't want to let go and will be very upset or sad if another person leaves i'm picking that up as well but i do see someone being very passionate almost to the point of desperation to um how do you how do you want to say they're giving me like follow follow the skittles rainbow <laughs> i don't even know what that means to follow their dreams to go after what they want okay let's take a look here show me look at all this major account i can't even believe it i am telling you somebody has this thought there's like this thought that overcomes someone at night where they're just like oh my gosh i know i need to do something here i know what i need to do i know what i need to do making some kind of magic happen manifesting something new it's coming from dreams i'm just picking up some strong dream energy so there's a queen of swords masculine or feminine air sign energy that has something to do with this and judgment okay wake up call somebody's getting a wake up call here virgo is it you is it another person it's about taking some kind of risk and taking a leap of faith making some major change saying you know what follow follow the yellow brick road is that what it is yes that's what it is and what a journey that would be yeah there's definitely going to be what i see coming is a risk being taken taken so either somebody's walking away from something which is a big risk or something new and something new is beginning okay so i like this energy i don't know exactly who's who here but i can definitely say that i like this new look at this the sun there's so much positivity here with this it's like coming out into the light you know it's like freedom yeah, there's somebody getting serious here, Virgo. They're going to make a, so a solid bona fide offer of love. Yes, definitely. Virgo, it just, you know, it just feels good. Like, I feel like it feel, it's going to feel good for you. There's a huge shift and a change. Um, but there's some kind of a trip that's getting made first. Okay? Somebody needs to, either someone's, arri someone's arriving somewhere like at a port a, um, a marine port an airport uh, a train port 
there's there's an arrival a bus I guess is it called a bus port bus station there's an arrival so either you're arriving somewhere or someone else is arriving but it, it could even be symbolic like you finally get to a place where you need to be or you need to go this is a major commitment here like somebody offers for a commitment here okay so if that's something that you're looking for Virgo I, it's on the table for sure could be with an air sign or whomever if you have someone in your life then it would be you know with that person okay could be a virgo could be leo like all the cards are showing okay this is something someone's been considering for quite some time yes they've been hesitant to do it hesitant to make a commitment hesitant They've had up these strong walls or boundaries, and I feel like somebody's really been thinking about it here um, and giving it some serious thought. Uh, not so much about loving another person, but to actually conform and be in that, like follow a hierarchy of traditional roles, okay? So it, it definitely gives me a sense that someone is been giving this a lot of thought okay queen of wands somebody might be walking away from or thinking about leaving another relationship um, fire energy there or leaving a marriage or leaving a home situation or a family situation um, coming together and getting into that like I said that committed type of an energy that committed relationship so yeah, I do feel like um, there might have been someone in the past who was a fire sign where it was there was a hesitancy to leave that person, but it seems like it's time to go. Okay, what else? All right, page of wands. And I'm going to go into the extended reading because I want to see... Um, because I feel like this is you and another person. I want to see like where you guys are going to live... Um, how it's going to work out, how it's going to happen, um, if there's going to be any children, if children are possible, um, how people are going to get along, what other people are going to think. Not that that matters, but I'm just going to look into everything. So, yeah, somebody has, somebody has a secret crush on you. Definitely. There's a secret crush. If either it's on you or you have it on somebody else. And I feel like if it's on you, you're going to get told about this. Uh, maybe at work or in a work situation. Are you going to find out about it? Yeah, it's going to bring a sense of, I don't know, calmness, peace. Um, this might be somebody that you were curious about, if they would like you back. Or um, if, I feel like it's, 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 in, it's both ways. I feel like there's this crush kind of energy, these feelings, these, these, someone gets like goosebumps. Their heart flutters. Two people, the heart flutters around each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They've been hiding it. Somebody's been hiding how they feel and thinking about wanting to express that or say something. Um, could be a Libra or a Taurus. This person, geez, whoever they are, they just kind of look at you like you are the most dashing, <laughs> the most beautiful, um, just just oh, what's the word like stunning they're just saying like st the most stunning this like a stunning stunning in your look stunning in your personality just the way you are um they've just been hiding something here so yeah they're going to initiate communication with you in june um there's going to be some conversation regarding school or work and a trip I'm hearing and they might say this to you got to leave for a little while due to a, a work thing or some kind of trip um, or something to do with like some elders or to help somebody out yeah I don't know if that energy is significant to you but it's they're, they're, they they got to go pretty quick um, somebody there could be like a, a DEAF D-E-A-T-H, somebody, what the hell did I say? Somebody here, um, there might be a funeral or somebody has to go to see someone. They got to leave. They got to leave real quick and they're going to go, but they'll be back too. Um, let's see. 
Okay. Yeah, could be a friend or someone they're close to, but they will be back. So there is going to be um, some type of communication, but I do feel like someone's been giving a lot of thought in regards to um, connecting and committing. Been giving a lot of thought about a relationship. Either again, this could be you having to leave and go somewhere, but there's there's this has been on somebody's mind. I guess this person. I don't know how long the connection's been. King of Swords. Yep, healing, renewal, feeling hopeful. Um, you're a wish come true for this person, Virgo. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Just going to say it. I'm putting it out there. You're like everything this person could ever want. I know. You're like, what? So right now, if you don't have anybody and there's no one in your life currently and it's hard to believe, just give it time. Um, but just keep your eyes and ears peeled for June because I feel like this energy is going to start happening in the month of June. You know, we're pretty much one more week left of May, so it could begin occurring in May, at the end of May here. Um, you know, um, tomorrow is the full moon, so the 23rd is where I feel like it's really going to start. The energy is going to be shifting because we did see the moon right there in the beginning. Okay, this relationship can stand the test of time. There's an awakening happening here and accepting that you two met for a reason, you and this person coming together um, or meeting for the first time. Um, there will be some obstacles, like I said, maybe a connection and then somebody has to leave and then coming back again. Um, there's also forgiveness. So forgiving yourself for something, Virgo, or forgiving another person. Um, there's going to be very strong, yes, attraction. You're going to feel strong attraction. Um, even when this person becomes unavailable for a little while, the attraction will get even stronger. Yep. And, um, okay, second chance came out in the reverse. And I just want to make a comment. For those of you that you know who this is, yeah, the relationship does deserve a second chance. If this is not... You don't have anybody um then no you should <laughs> they're saying this is somebody new <laughs> coming in it's somebody new making an appearance here oh let's take a look and see who it could be and let's see okay this person is slender someone's got freckles like yesterday someone's got brown hair someone also has short hair that's a cool haircut uh, someone also has colorful hair. They also have green eyes. They also have someone is very short. Someone may also be bald or have a shaved head. Um, could have blonde hair as well. And anything. Oh, uh, they're saying, okay, someone's got glasses. And then I just saw muscular someone's someone got muscles but i oh there it is yeah i saw it and went back in okay so those could be some of the descriptions of this person um if you know who they are you might not but look out for some of those those descriptions um let's see what else does virgo need to know let's see chinese sign for virgo and who this possible person could be born in the year of the pig Year of the Dragon, Year of the Dog, Year of the Rabbit, the Tiger, the Goat, and the Ox. Okay, so if that resonates for you, that's a message for you. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for this energy. Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. Okay. September 21st, August 26th, so, uh, then, okay, 52, 64, the letter T, September 1st, 1980, letter Q, and a T for cutie, August 31st, and the letter O, okay. September 1st, we have the number 60, the letter I, somebody has a high IQ, 40, the letter E, uh, somebody's chewing some ice, someone's birthday is in March, the letter F, 
We have 47, significant birthday of November. The letter G, another T, someone's last name is Tote. Okay, 32, the letter Z, the letter N, and September 14th. Also, September 10th in 1948, or someone is 48. I just saw that and it, it flew back in. Okay, um, we also have 1971, but that looks like Illinois to me, I-L. And someone's last name is Fiokowski, Fiokowski, Fio. Maybe somebody calls someone Fio for short. Um, Mm, 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 mm. Somebody needs to take some zinc. I feel like this reading is going to be really short tonight, so sorry about that. I am going to go over to the extended, so the link will be in the description box below so we can see how this new situation will turn out for you, unless it's someone you know. Either way, it could be a new startup of an old love or just a new startup of love. We'll have to see. Um, but I do feel like some of those... Uh, somebody has a G, GE, General Electric Refrigerator. Okay, so let's see. What do we have here? So you've got, oh, okay, you've got a heart here. But this kind of looks like a heart with roses and vines. Very beautiful. You might have a tattoo or see that, a heart with roses and vines. I'm also picking up Italian cookies. Somebody eats or likes Italian cookies or somebody, it's like a favorite. Um, you also have a horse. This is a stallion. Oh, so somebody's got, okay, either rides a horse or a stallion. No, this is a stallion. This is, this is not just your typical horse. Look at that. Very lean and strong and fast. It could be you or it could be this person, another person. Lean, strong, and fast. Very powerful gorgeous with a beautiful mane of hair also um you have a bee here you know it's weird I, I was i was thinking about the way bees fly like they're totally anti-gravity aren't they <laughs> um but honeybee yes maybe you're eating honey or trying to eat honey getting healthy so there's some kind of connection to honey or someone's name is honey or someone calls another person honey um yeah this feels like a honeybee all right virgo uh, like i said i'm going to go over to the extended reading so go ahead and click on that if you want to find out more about this person and how things are going to go tomorrow i'll be back with your weekend reading and um yeah that's it <laughs> all right you guys thank you for being here thanks to the mods and i will see you all back here tomorrow take care Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.